In this segment of tutorial, we are going to uh, um, learn in the different method of highlighting text, different method of selecting our text on Microsoft Word 2016, and um, this will be very interesting. Many of us know how to highlight text, but now let's learn from it. We are going to learn how to highlight text, copy and paste. All right. Now let's show many methods. One thing I want you to learn is that when you are highlighting text, instead of always pressing down your mouse down to where you want to stop to some of us, that may be very easy to do. So that is one method we could do this. Okay. But some other persons may just click on where they want to start. Then press down their shift. Use the arrow key, maybe down arrow key to get to where they are going to and accordingly they get a way to stop by so doing they are also doing it right okay many of us use either of these two but in today's tutorial i'm going to show you some other method that can work out very well many of us do not know that we can highlight a line a line if you want to highlight this particular line take for example Say for example this line instead of always coming this way that we can just come to the outside that left margin opposite it and click as soon as we click it highlight that line that means if i am to highlight my introduction see what i would do click at the outside left margin of my screen automatically he's highlighted okay so that is another method if we are to highlight only one line all right now when it comes to the paragraph like this that we have um, seen here it's not at all time that you must if you want to highlight the entire paragraph it's not at all time that you must always press down here press it till when you get to the end of the paragraph and stop it's nothing wrong with that either but however let's see different method let's see different method if i'm highlighting only one word only this alone i'm highlighting instead of doing this see what i would i would just double click on it a double click on it will automatically highlight that particular word so instead of always going there and press sometimes it takes more than a word try to get the right one just double click on the word it will still do the same thing a double click good now, if you click it three times, see what will happen. Three times. One, two, three. The three times of the click did something beautiful. You see that it highlighted the entire paragraph. So double click, highlight a word. Then when you triple click it, it highlighted a, a paragraph. Always remember that. Always remember that. However, there's a still another method of highlighting that I also love most. Take for example, when you are highlighting many pages of many work, sometimes you do this, you press down from the beginning, keep going, keep going, keep going. Something may happen along the way, you make a mistake and it seems that, oh, the work is no longer, you want to go start all over that is strenuous strenuous exercise let's see another easier method we can use to actually highlight with ease let me show you now take for example i have a 12 pages document here and i want from pages 1 to 7 to be highlighted instead of me stressing myself by pressing everything down i will just go to where i want to start and i've clicked at the back of introduction i do not do any other thing than to scroll down Scroll down to the page 7 that I want to use. Okay. And okay. Let's assume that this is okay. This is page 7 anyway. And this may be okay. This is 6. Let's go to 7. Now, this is page 7. All right. If I want to stop here, see what I will do. I have clicked at the beginning. I will press down my shift key and click on where i want to stop press down your shift key click on where you want to stop 
and it will highlight only from that beginning and stop at that point. Remember, simple thing, go to the back of or to the point you want to start highlighting, click on it. Just scroll down to where you want to stop and press down your shift key and then you click on where you want to stop. Automatically, with your help of with the help of shift key, it will only highlight those section. So even though it will to be a thousand million pages work, you just do this. It make your work much easier, very easy. Okay. Now finally about selection, let's do something different. Sometimes in a work like this, we may want to produce a table of content, although there is a, a little way of generating, a simpler way of generating content. But in the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to deal with, we are dealing with highlighting text first. So let's see another easier way we can extract the introduction and all the headings without necessarily having to type them again. See what I will do. As earlier mentioned, I come to outside margin of that particular line, I click. I do not touch any other thing that just to click there. I will scroll down to the next heading. As soon as I get to the next heading, what I will do, I will press down my control, press it down, and do the clicking again. And that control, click, and move to where I want to, I click. I can leave my hand again, scroll down to where we will have another heading, okay? can see one there and almost past that one beautiful good good so with this time instead of spending my time typing all this heading i will just go to the outside margin pressing down my control and click on the heading in order to select the heading so at the end of the day let's assume that these are the headings in this work that i wanted to form table of contents I will just press down my control and C, control C. Alternatively, I can just go to one of the last one there or any one of it and right click and then click on copy. Click on copy is the same thing. I may need to create a, a maybe I want a, it in a fresh page and control V to paste. So we have learned in many ways how we can actually uh, select text in different form. If you notice, they are still highlighted, of course, because they are still selected. So with this, we can ease have a work. So do not feel that this is too cumbersome for you. It's what you can do in order to enhance your work, make your work more, more provisions. So you can save time, save your energy, show yourself to be a professional in use of Microsoft and Microsoft 2016 is a very beautiful one. So make sure that you learn on all this. Of course, you know that after copying like that, after highlighting, you just need to copy. There are many means of copying, very many ways. You can just right click on it and copy. Okay, and copy. You can see copy there. Or you can use the control C as earlier mentioned. When you get to where you want to drop it, you just paste it as you can see in what we have just done. We control V to paste it. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now tell me what you have learned from this tutorial at the comment section as I hope you share the video. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please just do so because we are aiming at making sure that as much as possible, we learn computer together from the beginners to those who are already advanced in the use of computer. Thanks so much.